Today, we'll show you how to install the Little Giant WRS Series Drainasaur Sump Pump System. This wastewater removal system kit is designed to pump wastewater from laundry trays, washing machines, sinks, or dehumidifiers. This system is not designed to pump raw sewage or fluids other than water. Let's begin. Locate the unit so that the inlet is gravity-fed. The unit will not draw water up from a lower level. Keep the basin away from any item that could puncture it. The surface must be level. The position selected should be convenient to the inlet, discharge, vent piping, and electrical supply. Plumb the inlet to the basin cover fitting using 1 and 1 half inch threaded pipe. Do not reduce the sizing. Install a P-trap and a union next to the basin. Use a pipe joint compound or Teflon tape where applicable. Tighten the plastic fittings. Verify the lift height of the pump is not exceeded by taking into account both water lift height and fluid dynamic friction from all fittings and valves. Plumb the discharge to the basin cover fitting using a 2-inch threaded pipe. Seal the discharge piping with the pipe joint compound or Teflon tape where applicable. Use a union and a swing check valve no more than 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters from the top of the basin cover. Be sure the check valve is installed in the proper flow direction. No water will flow out of the unit if the check valve is installed backwards. The vent is essential for proper switch operation and cannot be omitted or restricted. The basin must be vented in accordance with state and local codes. Air admittance valves, such as Studer vents, are not to be used in this application. Air movement in both positive and negative directions is required for proper drainage into the basin and during discharge of the pump within a lift station. To vent the plumbing, plumb the vent to the fitting in the basin cover using a 2-inch threaded pipe. Use a pipe joint compound or Teflon tape where applicable. Tighten the plastic fittings and confirm any clamps are securely fastened. Connect the power cord to a constant source of power matching the pump nameplate voltage. Secure the power cord to the piping with ties or tape. The pump should be connected or wired to its own circuit with no other electric receptacles or equipment in the circuit. The fuses or circuit breaker should be of ample capacity. If required by code, connect the pump to a circuit equipped with a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI device. Under no circumstances should the outlet box or receptacle be located where it may become flooded or submerged by water. If installed indoors, the plug connection should be 4 feet or more above the floor. The pump is supplied with a three-prong electrical plug. The third prong is ground to the pump to prevent possible electric shock. When using a pump with a three-prong electrical plug, plug the pump into a grounded receptacle with the vent tube pointed down. This helps prevent dust and debris buildup in the vent tube over time. The vent tube must remain unobstructed for proper pump operation. To comply with CSA requirements, place the agency label, included with the packaging, on the sump pump cover or control panel in a visible location. For more information, reference your product owner's manual. Thanks for watching.